So all traffic essentially comes into the application in the form of HTTP requests. And so when we talk about load tests on a very fundamental level, all we're talking about is generating a large amount of HTTP requests and sending that at your application, uh, ideally on the production hardware so that you can see, does my application have bottlenecks? Does my hardware have bottlenecks? Are there things that I'm you know, not thinking of? At a high level, I think the most like critical pre-launch check would be load testing. Uh, so that's typically thought of in a couple of different dimensions. We think of load, stress, and soak testing. And uh, the goal of all of those types of tests are to make sure that the application can perform on day one at the level of traffic that you expect to see. And also that as that traffic ramps up, nothing catastrophic occurs. So we have load testing, which is essentially starting at a fairly low volume of traffic and ramping up to a level that you would expect to see on a very busy day after launch. The second type of load test that we have is called the stress test. And the stress test is designed to actually see where your application starts falling apart and breaking at what level of traffic. And so that will start at a very low level of traffic and ramp all the way up until you start seeing errors returned by the application. And then the final sort of type of load testing that we like to do is called soak testing. And soak testing is designed to ramp up from a low level to about 80% of that uh, stress test level. So right before your application breaks, but then it holds it for a pretty long time. It can be an hour, eight hours, whatever. Um, and what that's designed to do is to flush out any longer term issues that you would see with performance. So again, that would be things like, you know, your disk space starts filling up due to logs or you have a slow memory leak in the application that really only becomes a problem after, you know, so many requests hit it. Load testing is up to the level you're expecting. Stress testing is up to a very high level where the application breaks and soap testing is a high level, but not all the way to stress and then for a very long time. Yes. So during stress and load tests, you actually need monitoring tools as well. And so these things usually go hand in hand. Um, you'll have a service like New Relic or Datadog set up to monitor the different components of the application, the database or the application servers at the edge, wherever. Um, and you'll pay attention to those things as the load increases and you'll be able to see where it breaks. And that's sort of a critical component is that you need some visibility into the monitoring of, of the application.